The Strive Towards Excellence program, or the uh, STEP program, as it's more finely called, is a pre-college program here at the University of Akron that begins preparing rising seventh graders for college. I think this program is really important in today's community because we have all the issues with the bullying, school kids dropping out of school. We're seeing that that number is rising more and more. Students are not prepared for higher education. Because STEP was designed back in 1988, it's still relevant today and even more so because we do need to start early getting students ready for um, college. And since we started the sixth grade, that's pretty early compared to most pre-college programs that you'll find um, well, you know, within the, the program community. With, who um, have very hard times in their lives. Some of them went from adoption home to adoption home, and they were going to move away from Akron, but Ms. Stone tried to get them to finish their education and to finish the program out. She helped people buy their first car. She will read a contract if you're signing a lease or something. She'll help you uh, set up your dorm, you know, buy things you need for your dorm if you're staying on campus, you know. She truly has a personal investment in every single step student that um, is involved in this program. Um, that age level is extremely important because that's that pre-adolescent adolescent, um, age level. When you start at that level, they're not um, stuck in their own way. Also at that age, it's still a really good time for them to learn academically, but it's also a good time for them to learn about social skills as well. And STEP addresses both those sides. We don't just deal with the academic preparedness for a student for college. We also deal with the social, emotional, because as we all know, that college is more than just books. Uh, education is more than just how much you study or how many years that you get, because everything about a person goes into their success or failure. They work hard, they have classes all day, they take classes in English and math, they take a dance class through the Dance Institute here at the University of Akron, they take um, a karate class, they do swimming, they do drama, they do speech. And it's a wide variety on purpose by design. Because if you'll remember earlier in an interview, I spoke about that we not just look at their academics, but we also address their social and emotional, and we also do cultural. The dance that they take in the Dance Institute is dance, it may be jazz and some form of ballet, something that the majority of our students would have never taken. And they moan and groan about it, by the way, initially. But by the time it's for a recital, the boys are pushing the girls away to get to that front line. And so it's a really good event. At the end of that six weeks, they then take a summer trip. And on that trip, it is to be educational, it's to be cultural, and it is to be fun. It is meant to expose them to all that's out there, outside of Akron, Ohio. Last year was our 25th anniversary, and we did something totally different, and we went to the Grand Canyon, and we flew. Um, seeing the, the Grand Canyon and, and all the wonder and having the history behind the Indians that um, are out in that area, the different wildlife and animals that exist. Um, so that when a student finishes, they really can say, I've seen this and I know this and I know that there's a world outside of the city of Akron that I can fit into. And how can they say it? Because they were there. They know what it's like to stay in a hotel. They know what it's like to fly on a plane or, or go away and be okay and come back and have a great time, but also have more knowledge and information. To have it replicated in another city, it will require those people to get together with their business community and see if there was a company that would be generous enough to set up an account in the millions of dollars that could be endowed that would allow it to operate. If it could be replicated, I think we could see great changes throughout the country because I feel like our graduates are already making a difference in the country, in this country and in other countries because I have one that's working in Germany.